Welcome back to Views with the user Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So coming in from Bounty into Comics, Magic the Gatherings, The Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle Earth, Senior Art Director defends the red swapping. He this person didn't only do it for the black Aragorn. He did it for several other characters, I heard. I haven't heard much about this lately but i got a bad feeling about this i'm not gonna lie so it says here magic the gatherings lord of the rings tells the middle earth senior art director of video cartagena Cart defended the game's race swapping of numerous characters all right so speaking with hey so when speaking with npr's james perkins no no um surprise james perkins national marino he said, at any, at any given time, we are surrounded by diversity, and it's our hope in this world to someday get along and come together despite our differences. Here's the thing, though. Whenever you, you go ahead and decide to go ahead and race swap certain characters and stuff, so that way some people can go ahead and see themselves in the character, you're going to get a lot of pushback, okay? Yeah, you can call them racist and everything all you want to, but guess what? That's not going to do anything to make the cells better. You know, this is not going to unite people. This is just going to create a further divide. You can't blame the audience and fans and stuff for call, like accusing them of causing division when they're not. The only people who's ca causing the division are the ones who's creating the materials and stuff where they go ahead and then change up a few legacy characters. Okay. He added, it's also a message from us to fans of all walks of life. You are welcome here. You have a place here. You belong. Here's the thing, though. We've all already known that. The thing is, not a lot of people of different different walks of rest from every race and creed and everything are into um Magic the Gathering cards. I mean, it's as simple as that. You've lost like the number of fans that you've had before, and now you're gonna have a difficult time getting them out because they either checked out or they're never coming back. So it also goes on to say here that you that um youtuber european lord reacted to the comments from him saying so this is the same nonsense that all the huge companies have been talking about for the last couple of years it's just a publicity stunt this is just attention grabbing this is just virtue signaling of course now i agree he continued i don't believe they are they are so stupid that they don't know that you don't need to make us unite you don't need to unite fans fans have already been united before you came fans already been united before the rings of power came that is exactly right all they're doing is simply going ahead and see if they can go ahead and earn a good cei score or a good um esg score you know they're trying to protect the cei credit rating and everything so that way they can go ahead and be on the up and up with george soros that's all it is through the work ways of blackrock and other um investment firms all right we were already united but the thing is, they're just going ahead and reach out, trying to get more fans and stuff by doing these kind of things. When those who they're trying to reach out to, they don't care about this. They're not interested in it. Doesn't matter how black you make a character, how many races or genders you're going to swap and all of that. They're not going to come flocking. Simple as that. He also noted that if you're a fan of something, you will naturally unite and bond with the people that like the same thing as you do. And it and is most important to you in this particular context that the person shares your hobby, shares your passion, shares the things that you like and that you are bonding over the things that you enjoy. OK, he later reiterated uh, that. Wait a minute. Hold up. No, no, not not Erwin. <sighs> I'm going to need this senior art director to go ahead and pick up a Lord of the Rings book, namely The Two Towers. <sighs> they race swapped Eowyn, Lady Rohan, made her black, gave her blonde hair, blonde dreadlocks while at that. Like, bruh. Let's see. Oh, let's see if there's any other. Uh... Is that an air? Is that that's either Aragorn or they they swap Legolas too? I could. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. 
What'd they do with Gandalf? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is, this is, this is beyond parody right now. Beyond parody. Like, you, you really going to go ahead and think you expect going to get fans back and stuff or get new fans by making this. All you've done is just simply create a bigger division among fans. Okay. You're going to have those who are going to try to defend it that you've probably hired as well as those who are basically leaving like long gone. Not to mention you sent um, like these honchos and these big tough guys and all of that to one YouTuber who actually bought the, um, the newest cars and stuff from your company and made threats against him. Like what in the world? You expect to go ahead and unite fans that have already been united. Now you've yeah, you've definitely united fans. Now you've united more fans to be against Magic the Gathering. So basically, their justification is the fact that they want to unite people that have already been united. But instead, they decided to go ahead and cause more division. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to, if you enjoyed what I shared in the video, go ahead and smash the like button and share it for all white across social media. If you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.